Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm doing a quick linking guide. This is an updated linking guide for the other world tournament cards that are currently available on the global side of Dokkan Battle. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because they have not been out for a year. They only came out one time. Um, so I want to make sure that everyone's aware of who they link well with, how they could be used on teams and everything. Uh, one thing I say is that they really can't be used on any type of category team, so that kind of stinks. You have to, you're have to you limited to mono categories with them, but that's not a horrible, horrible thing. Uh, it's They're very fun to use, and some of these cards are really good. So we're going to go through all the cards. We're going to talk about them, how to doke and wake in them, and then we're going to talk about the linking ones. We're only going to go over the four SSRs here. This is going to be a little bit of a longer video because I'm going through all of them. I'm going to try and keep it quick and shut down as much or keep out as much as I possibly can. So um, uh, for the undokan variants, we're not going to go over everything, just some key things like leader skill, super attack, and passive skills, all right? So victory, ceiling, super attack, super saiyan, Goku, angel, super Kaioken. That is such a mouthful. <laughs> uh, leader abilities, physical type, key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 30%. He does a super Kaioken Kamehameha. Immense damage to the enemy while sacrificing 7% HP. Passive skill, twisted aura, key plus 2, attack plus 80% when HP is 50% or above. Uh, now one more thing before we move on. This is for the global side, not the JP side. We don't have, I don't have anything for the JP side as of yet. The, the, everything's a little bit different on the JP side, so we'll, we'll keep that in mind when we're doing this video. Um, he has a 12 key multiplier of 130%. He Doken Awakens with 3 Gogeta medals, 3 Janemba medals, and 24 Pycon medals. Now, these Pycon medals are going to be available, the same thing as the Goku medals, from the um, Epic Battle Arise Otherworld Challengers event. Um, now, this is going to be available on level uh, 3, or stage 3, um, of this event. Now, keep in mind that um, on stage 3 of the event, like this is actually kind of a little bit out of date, uh, just because it's on, you have a hard, Z-hard, or, yeah, and... Um, Normal, hard, and Z-hard. It's a little bit different now. There's three separate levels and six total Dragon Stones because it's been updated. Uh, but pretty much everything's the same, uh, except for on this level over here, you're only getting Pycon Medals. Um, on, like, level three, you're getting Pycon Medals, and um, stage two is for Goku Medals, I believe, and stage one is the actual Goku. So uh, it's going to be a little bit different from what you're seeing over here on the wiki, but that's all right. Go ahead and grind him out and uh, get him Doken Awaken. When he Doken Awakens, he turns into this amazing beast, Burning to the last Super Saiyan Goku Angel Super Kaioken. Uh, leader ability is physical type key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack is Super Kaioken Kamehameha, causes immense damage to the enemy while sacrificing 7% HP. Uh, passive skill, Thundering Aura, key plus 3 attack plus 100% when fit HP is 50% or above. Um, he's good because he does a lot of damage and immense damage is awesome. He does kind of kill a little bit when you're doing that 7% HP damage to yourself when he launches a super attack. But on a 120 team, it's just like, you have a lot of health, so just, just keep in mind when you're doing your super attacks and everything. And the fact that his passive has key plus 3, so that's awesome. Um, when HP is 50% or above. When your HP drops below 50%, try to not get a super attack off if you can help it. He has very good links, so um, just try not to if you're going to run him on team. He does do a lot of damage, and because it's 100% flat out buff with immense damage, dupe system is definitely a good thing for him. Um, it's just that that HP is 50% or above kind of kills it because, you know, half the time your HP is below 50%. So you constantly got to watch your health. Um, link skills are prepared for battle, shocking speed, super saiyan, kamehameha, over in a flash, other world warriors, and fierce battle. So he has some good link skills, a lot of, a lot of damage buffs. You can actually get him pretty, hitting pretty damn hard. Uh, max stats are HP of 89, 63, attack of 83, 71, and defense of 45, 90, with a 12 key multiplier of 140%. Overall, a really solid unit. Um, in terms of best linking buddies in game, uh, Super Gogeta and the T. Actually, yeah, all of these guys are five or more. The only one that hits off all six of his link skills is going to be the Kaioken, or not the Kaioken. Actually, yeah, the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku. Um, he technically doesn't actually say Kaioken in the name, but he is using the Kaioken technique in this one. He hits off six <laughs> Super Saiyan Kamehameha Shocking Speed over in a flash prepared for battle and fierce battle. So when they're linked together, that's what, four, five, six, seven key, 25% attack buff, and a flat out 2500. It's insane. Uh, this, and actually, honestly, all of his best linking buddies are top tier characters. Uh, Super Saiyan Blue T-U-R, oh, not Super Saiyan Blue, uh, Super Saiyan God, God Q card. Um, he hits all five key and 25% attack. The Super Saiyan 4 Goku card is going to be those at 10, 25% uh, 4 key. I'm pretty sure everything here is 25% and 4 key. Or this one's 5 key because he has over in a flash. LR Gohan he links well with for 4 key and 25% attack buff. That's freaking awesome. The TR variant of that, um, LR Gohan as well. He hits off the same amount of uh, link skills with. Everyone has Kamehameha. Well, pretty much everyone has Kamehameha over here. And the same thing with the, with the uh, in, uh, Technique Gogeta card. 
So 25% uh, and 5 key and 2500 for Kamehameha. So he has a lot of really good linking buddies. He's going to be really good. Even if you just use him for the links and the once in a while, like when your HP is over 50%, he's still a really good unit. He's going to be doing a lot of damage. In terms of a mono physical team, he doesn't link with as many as we already talked about. The Super Saiyan Blue Vegito card's really good. Um, the SSR and TUR variant of the Great Saiyan Man 2, the Gohan from the Majin Buu arc. Four link skills total, two key, 10% attack buff, and Kamehameha. And the Super Saiyan 3 Goku GT. Um, not that great, but still. Three key, 25% attack buff, not that bad. Um, so you have a lot of, you have some decent links for him to go with. And honestly, this uh, Super, the Great Saiyan Man and the Vegito are two primary units on a mono physical team. So if you guys are either lacking units, um, he is like. He's like a top A tier card, or I'd say he's definitely an A tier card to run on a team. Uh, S tier, depending on who you have, but like there are better cards to run on the team. But he's definitely in, at least still in the A tier, in my opinion. The next one is going to be Silent Rivalry Paikuhan. Uh, strength type key plus two, attack, HP attack and defense plus 30%, super attack, burning shoot, supreme damage to the enemy, and greatly lowers attack. Um, his passive skill, other world champions, renowned. Renown, attack plus 60%, all enemies, defense minus 20%, 12 key multiplier of 130%, you can increase his super attack, I still don't have mine Doken Awakened yet, because I haven't done this, that's only because I can't afford the uh, metals to uh, Z Awaken, the strike event Pycon to increase his super attack, but uh, if, you, if you're going to do that, he, he's kind of worth doing it too, he does have some good linking buddies, so keep that in mind. Um, he will Doken Awaken with 3 Gogeta medals, 3 Janemba medals, and 24 of the Goku medals, which we already discussed earlier. Um, Midoken awakens into this awesome guy, Blazing Clash Paikuan, or Paikon. Leader ability is Strength Type Key plus 2, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%, Super Attack Thunder Flash, Supreme Damage to the enemy, and Greatly Lowers Attack. The fact that he Greatly Lowers Attack is really awesome. Passive skill, Other World Champions Prestige, Attack plus 70%, All Enemies Defense minus 30%. The, de the Defense Debuff isn't that amazing, but I mean, it is a Defensive Debuff anyway, so you'll do more damage, and Attack plus 70% is... While it used to be a lot better, not so much today, but he's going to be at least doing damage. Supreme damage and greatly lowering attack does definitely help benefit you because that means the attacked opponent is going to do less damage towards you. Um, you can kind of, I would say if, if you're going to do dupe system of him, split that 50-50 between additionals and crits. You want to have the crits there so he can do more damage because he needs to make up for the lack of, of uh, attack buff. At the same time, if he gets off a double super attack, your enemy's going to be doing le a lot less damage to you. His link skills are Prepared for Battle, Gentlemen, Experienced Fighters, Shocking Speed, Cold Judgment, Otherworld Warriors, and Fierce Battle. Um, too bad there's not a lot of enough cards with Otherworld Warriors. Him and Goku do link pretty well together, though. But, um, yeah, he has Prepared for Battle, ex uh, Experienced Fighters, Shocking Speed, which are all really good, and obviously Fierce Battle. His max stats are HP of 9529, Attack of 7805, and Defense of 5015, with a 12 key multiplier of 140%. Super attack greatly lowers target's attack by 30%, so if you do a double, that's more than 50% damage reduction, that's 60%. Um, best linking buddies in name, but you, as you see over here, this is three or more, that's all I can really get for you. The, mo the only one who he links more than three with is the Kaioken Goku, the one that's also available on this banner. And they share four key and, um, was that, 35% attack buff, so that's actually not that bad if you're running a heroes team. Um, outside of that, um, you have the Intelligence Vegito, or the Agility Vegito, LR Trunks, LR Gohan, TUR Intelligence Gogeta, the Kaioken Blue Goku, Whis, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and Goku, the GT Trunks, the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, um, the Intelligence Hit, um, what is this, Ice no Nova Shenron, and the, Intel the Technique Whis. So three or more, I'm not going to go over every single one of their linking pairs, but as you can see over here, most of them is at least at least two key, and at least uh, um, uh, Fierce Battle, because he has Fierce Battle, so he has Fierce Battle with most of these guys. So keep that in mind when you're looking for team building guides. Um, he's going to be able to link a lot with with a lot of these guys, but in terms of a mono strength team, he only he kind of lacks a little bit there. He links with only four units. You have the hit. The, this is an extreme support unit. He does do key plus three for all strength types, so that's not that bad. But um, I mean, honestly, it's not amazing. He does give him the defensive buff, which is awesome. So he'll be tanking a little bit. Both of them will be tanking a little bit better. But this one is really not going to do any benefit to the Pycon because he's a super type. So his uh, passive to do the the attack and defense increase for extreme types won't take effect. But he is there. Maybe one day he'll get a Doken Awakening. Something will be better. Uh, we already talked about the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. He does 4 key and 15% attack buff. So that's not bad. That's so he will at least be getting super attacks off. If you don't have the Super Saiyan 3 Goku card, then this would be a good alternative. Because most of the other people you're going to have on rotation, like off of your primary rotation, are going to be Super Saiyans. So he'll at least have that. Um, I don't know if you're going to have anyone with Saiyan Roar, though. It's going to kind of stink because you want him to hit harder. 
But again, uh, I'm more considering if you're a starter account or something like that and you happen to pull him. Uh, for those of you who have better accounts, you might not need to, but he's still fun to run. Um, the Trunks, the GT Trunks, he links well with three link skills. He does two key attack plus 15%, defense plus 20%. Next, we're going to talk about the Hell Conquering Ambition Frieza Final Form Angel. Uh, leader ability, tech type key plus through two HP attack and defense plus 30%. Super attack, death ball, supreme damage with a rare chance to stun. Passive skill, vengeful anger, attack plus 90% when performing a super attack. Now, he does not have a Doken Awakening, and I just can't wait for him to if he ever does get a Doken Awakening. If he does, he's going to be so awesome, uh, at least for the global side. I mean, he already does supreme damage, rare chance to stun, and attack plus 90%, which is just phenomenal for uh, a, a, an SSR unit. Uh, link skills are universe, most malevolent, strongest clan in space, shocking speed, prodigies, nightmare, and other world warriors. So while he won't ever really get too much use of the other world warriors, he does have some good Frieza links. Uh, max stats are HP of 84.75, attack of 84.22, and defense of 40.83. 12 key multiplier of 135%, which is really kind of low, but he's also an SSR. Rare chance to stun enemy is 20% chance. Um, you also can now, and I said this before, uh, you could farm his super attack with um, from the Frieza events. The two of one. One of them is an actual story event. The other is a Dokun event. This is the one from the Dokun event. Shady Business Frieza Final Form Angel. He drops as an SSR. Increase the super attack of this guy. I highly recommend doing that to super attack 10. Um, or you could just do it the hard way and just use your medals and get this guy, the Frieza Final Form Angel, the Cocoon one and increase the super attack. But I highly recommend doing the Dokun one, plus the Dokun one's here at least two times a week. So there you go. He's an awesome unit. Get him to super attack 10. And if he ever gets a Dokun awakening, I guess can't wait to see what happens because that rare chance could turn into a medium chance. And that passive skill, I could see him doing 120%. And he does fit decently on a team. Um, in terms of best linking buddies in game, his best linking buddy is going to be the full power freezer for four link skills. He has uh, 10%, 15%, 10%, so that's what? Uh, 35% attack buff and two key for strongest clan in space. So they are going to do very well linking together. Um, let's see over here. You have the Korra. You have uh, pretty much all the golden freezes in game. Even the angel golden freeze over here has three link skills. Oh, this is just the golden freeze. Actually, this is the OG golden freeze. Um, they have uh, three link skills. Um, I think the best one, this is the angel golden freezer right here. That's what I was looking for. Uh, two key and 25% attack buff. Not bad. Um, and the Korra. So Korra is 4 key and 15%. Pretty much all these guys are just decent. Decent link buddies. Not the best, but you'll get some attack buffs out of them. And you'll definitely get at least one key out of them. But overall, not that bad in game. He does have a better linking buddy in game. His best linking buddy in terms of including SSRs is going to be this Frieza over here. This is the OG Final Form Frieza from back in the day. He has the passive of attack plus 30% when um, starting the turn. That was actually really good back in the day, guys. So I'm just keeping, you know, keep that in mind. But they share five Ling skills. Prodigies, Universe, Most Malevolent, Shocking Speed, Strongest Clan of Space, and Nightmare. So they're sharing, what is that, a 25, 35% attack buff and four key. It's phenomenal. Too bad this guy, Doken Wake, is into such a crappy unit. Uh, they are so awesome. I like running the two of them together just because they're two freezes. Um, the Golden Freeze, we already talked about the two Beeruses. Um, this is the Beerus that Doken Wake is from the SR. This is the uh, actual Doken exclusive. And this is the Korra, the TUR variant of the Korra. Only two link skills. The universe most malevolent, strongest clan, so two key, 15%. Beerus is TUR, links with two, which is Prodigies and Shocking Speed. And then this one is probably Prodigies and Shocking Speed as well, yeah. So, I mean, honestly, there's really not that much here. The The Golden Freeze is four key and 15%. Um, honestly, I, I can definitely see running him on a Monotech Extreme team. That you, you can definitely have some fun if you're not going up against any Doken exclusives. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't have too many great linking buddies, but honestly, if you link him well up with this Frieza over here, the Golden Frieza, uh, while it's not the most ideal because you could probably run him on, on a better team doing something else, uh, it's 15% and 4 key, at least they'll both be getting super attacks off almost all the time, you know what I mean? Uh, but anyway, moving on, Tyrant of the Otherworld, Perfect Cell Angel. Leader abilities, Agility Type Key plus 2, HP Attack and Defense plus 30%, Supreme Damage lowers Defense, Attack plus 15% per Key Orb obtained, which is awesome. Link skills are Big Bad Bosses, Ultimate Life Form, Kamehameha, Shocking Speed, Nightmare, and Other World Warriors. Max stats are HP of 83.85, Attack of 81.35, and Defense of 44.87. 12 key multiplier, whack of 130%. Um, no Doken Awakening as of yet. When he gets Doken Awakening, I wonder what that's going to turn into. He's not that bad when it comes to damage output. He doesn't have that many good linking buddies, though. In terms of best linking buddies in the game, his best one... Um, for TUR or higher, is going to be the Strength Cell for Kamehameha, Big Bad Boss, Shocking Speed, and Nightmare. Honestly, again, Kamehameha is alright, but that's only 2,500 flat out buff. Big Bad Boss is a situational, you need to get your HP below 80%, so all the time he'll only have 10 key and 2, or 10% atta attack and 2 key. You also have the OG Intelligence Cell, 
which is ultimate life form. Big bad boss is a command man, so t two key the big bad bosses link, which is below 80 HP, below 80%, and the Kamehameha. Um, and the other cell is a tech cell, which is the same exact thing. Um, you have Goku Black for big bad bosses, Nightmare, and Kamehameha. Then you have Janembas. The Janembas are big bad bosses, Nightmare, and Shocking Speed. That's actually between the two of them. Buhan, which is really like, he's he was so good back in the day, no one really uses him or talks about him anymore. Kamehameha, Big Bad Bosses, and Shocking Speed, and the obviously the um, the the new Goku, or not the new Goku, the uh, Super Saiyan Kaioken Goku, Kamehameha, uh, Shocking Speed, and Other World Tournament. So ov overall, not the best linking buddy, but I could see him doing some damn decent damage. Um, for Mono Extreme Intelligence, um, I did SSR and higher over here. I did it with a couple of them when it came to the Mono teams, just because there were some t some people to keep note of. Um, the SSR Cell Perfect Form. This is the farmable one. Um, he does Kamehameha, Big Bad Boss's ultimate life form as typical. The Janemba is the same thing, Big Bad Boss's Shocking Speed and Nightmare as the other Janembas. He does link with Super 17 for Shocking Speed and Nightmare. Not great, but he at least has two links, and it's two links with everyone else on the teams over here. Um, I guess with if you keep in like Rose, Big Bad Boss is a Nightmare, Rose is passive, they're at least going to be getting, uh, what are they? that could be up to 35% when your HP is below 80. So that's not bad. Um, Kamehameha Shocking Speed for the Goku. I think this is uh, Shocking Speed and Kamehameha as well, right? Yeah, Shocking Speed, Kamehameha, and this one's definitely Shocking Speed and Kamehameha. Um, the SSR uh, Omega is Big Bad Bosses and Shocking Speed, and the Koro Support Unit is Big Bad Bosses and Nightmare. So overall, he's not that bad. He doesn't have bad linking buddies. They're just not optimal for the game uh, in terms of what you're going to be running. Obviously, if, you don't, if you're lacking mono... Uh, agility units, especially for extreme, he can come in handy. Some of these, I mean, a lot of these extreme units, like, look at these guys. These are actually pretty top tier. I mean, my, maybe minus the LR androids over here, but, like, the, everything on here that he at least links with two or more of are the more optimal units in-game. I mean, the Super Janemba is what? He's the key orb, uh, physical to agility key, so he's good for key orb manipulation. He's good for the LR androids. Rose is definitely still a staple. Super 17 is the extreme leader. Um, the LR androids, obviously, because they link so well with uh, 17 and the entire team, pretty much. And Korra is an amazing support unit. I think Omega is a good support unit as well. Yeah, tech and technique, uh, agility and technique type key plus two, attack plus 25%. So in terms of mono extreme, he at least links with them, which is not bad. And the fact that he shares at least two key with all of them is, it's better than nothing, you know what I mean? But um, anyway, guys, that's it. I want to try and keep this short. I got this down to, what, about 17 minutes. Thank you for joining me here today. This is the updated linking video for the Other World Tournament, just because it's been about a year since they last came out and have been seen on the global side. When this becomes available for the JP, the link, the link skills are going to be a little bit different, so I'm going to do an updated guide for the JP-specific one, all right? But anyway, guys, thank you. I'll catch you down in the comments below. Peace.